How has your Ceramics Expo experience been this year? It's great, yeah. I, I didn't realize it is so big. I, this is the first time I'm here. Uh, I didn't realize it was so big and uh, huge, pretty huge, yeah. I think I like what I see in the booths, uh, yeah. It's pretty nice, yeah. Um, you're part of the conference this year. What are your session going to be on? Well, I'm going to talk about uh, materials aspects of the electrified aircraft, which is a pretty exciting market for the future. Uh, and I'll talk about uh, the, the how the market is evolving, uh, what how, why it is exciting to work on electric aircraft, and uh, how it's going to change the aviation world, and then how the technology needs are for the future, and then how does the materials play a role in those technologies, and what are the big challenges that we have to face and solve those things. So those will be my kind of things and how exciting it is to be in this business right now because I see exciting future for electric aviation. And what advice would you give those in the ceramics industry looking to get into electrified aircraft development? I think you look at, I would say that, uh, look at the system level. Don't look at just materials. Look at the whole system, how it is doing, what the system level needs are, and then from that you say what kind of things you need to meet the system requirements. And I would say that that's the first thing. And always remember that the ceramics is not going to be alone in a material system. It's going to be combined with the metals or polymers. So take a hybrid system. Don't think of ceramics as a on its own merit. Look at it as a hybrid system and look at how you can improve the hybrid system to improve the material system. So that you must have a good knowledge of ceramics, metals, polymers to do this. Otherwise, you can't succeed. So I'll say take a system level view. Uh, take a hybrid system. Don't look at ceramics on its own but look at in combination with other material systems. That's what I will say. Uh, take a look at those. I mean, that will be exciting if you can do that. Uh, and manufacturing, uh, how do you make it cheaper? And look at additive manufacturing, what options it gives you to combine different metals, ceramics, polymers together and put a system together. Brilliant. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you very much.